Well, in this video, I'm going to be doing a update on how to install uh, Grub from a bad Grub install, or if Grub has failed. Uh, I have another video going up explaining one of the possible issues that you might have with a bad Grub install, uh, but this one is just going to be a simple one. So let's get right to it. And this is an update to one that uh, I've done in the past, but with some help from uh, a donation of a HDMI capture device, I am able to do this in higher quality. So thank you, mysterious donor. If you want to donate things to make these streams better, links are in the description below. Anywho, let's get to it. So this is specifically for OpenSUSE, but it's a bit agnostic. My recommendation is either use the Rescue CD or the DVD install media because that has, there we go, Rescue System, and that is what you want to do. So I am going to boot to that. I will be quiet while it boots, and I'll come back when uh, the login screen pops up. Okay, now we're at the login section. So what you're going to do is log in as root. So now you're in the rescue command. Uh, so the first thing that you will want to do is see what your drive part and partition listing is. This is important if you have either a UEFI a uh, boot layout where you have a separate boot partition, a separate UEFI partition. If you do dual booting Windows, you might have a, a separate partition for the Windows bootloader, uh, which is probably UEFI. Uh, and there's just so many other varieties of ways that can go about this. This is going to be more of a legacy uh, grub setup. So uh, there should only be three partitions, swap, root, and home. So the way to find this out is using fdis dash l, and that will list all of your drives and all of your partitions. In this case, uh, dev SDA is the drive that's being the target, and you can see dev SDA2 is the one that we're looking at. So, mount dev SDA2 to slash mnt. Now, there's a few other things you want to do here before you to root. You want to mount and bind proc, sys, and dev. So, let's get about doing that. Double checking to make sure everything's all right. Looks good. Okay. 
And the reason for that will be made apparent in another video that I have where I ran into a grub install issue. So now, at this point, we're going to cheroot. To MNT. Stupid European keyboard. Goody. Now that we're here, we can go and do the rest of the instructions. And these are OpenSUSE and SUSE Enterprise specific. They may work for other distros, but from here on out, it's mostly OpenSUSE. Uh, so the first thing you will want to do is make sure all of your kernel boot images are made. So make init rd dry cut probably would do the same, but this is the one that I was historically taught to use. Okay, and now that this is done, we can head to the next step, which is grub to make config dash zero slash boot grub slash grub to slash grub cfg. So let's type that out. There we go. So found all the boot images made by making it RD. Now the last one and one of the most important ones to not forget about is the actual grub2 install. And this is where I got screwed over with my last my previous video or one one of the videos I did. Uh, which probably will come out after this one. But I recommend watching it because something went wrong at this point. But we're going to actually do the grub install. Grub to install and choose the drive that you want it installed to. Great. Installation finished. No errors reported. Everything's all hunky-dory. If you have other stuff that you need to do, you can do it here. You can open up Yast and deal with services and all sorts of other stuff. But let's say, if for the sake of this video, that's all you needed to do was the grub reinstall. Now you type in exit to get out of the cheroot and back into the rescue CD, and here you can reboot. And there we go. Grub is successfully installed. So I thank you for joining me on this interesting video. Hopefully this is a uh, better quality than the last one. 
Uh, if you want to see more of these tutorial videos, you can encourage me with a donation link in the description below. Or if you want to see the uh, videos made a lot better, you can toss some equipment my way by donating hardware through uh, my Amazon wish list. Also in the description below. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, all that jam. And I really, really appreciate you all watching this. Hopefully, this helps you. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.